all right guys so I have a sad news to share with you all and as you can tell from the title that something bad has happened to my Flysky i6x radio transmitter so what basically happened is uh, a few days ago I was soldering the ST-Link wires on the motherboard and during that process this part of the radio slipped from my hand and it fell on the floor and when the radio fell from my hand I believe I had the wire soldered to the data pad over here and the SWDIO connection actually ripped and and that means I cannot program the radio with an ST-Link device but along with that uh, the power switch on the radio was very stiff and rough so I had to struggle to power on the radio with this switch because it wasn't very smooth and for that what I did is I I applied some grease over the switch and after that when I powered on the radio transmitter with my fully charged 2S LiPo battery I got a 0.2 volt reading on the display and the radio was constantly giving that low battery alarm sound and along with that the gimbals and the switches were not responding so then I tried to flash the firmware by the DFU method and when I tried to flash the older version of the OpenTX firmware uh, the firmware would flash but the EEPROM would not reset and even after going to the radio settings and selecting reset the radio wouldn't reset and I would still see the models that were set up earlier so something was definitely damaged within the motherboard of the radio transmitter now I don't know for sure what could have caused this problem it could have been the drop from my hand or it could have been the grease as well but before applying the grease when the radio had fell from my hand I did use my lipo battery and power up the radio at least three to four times and it did turn on properly it's only after when I first turned on the radio with the grease on the switch that I got the 0 0.02 voltage error and the gimbals stopped responding so then I flashed the original Flysky firmware using the DFU method and as soon as I powered on the radio with that firmware on the radio it would always go to the hidden settings or the reset settings that you would access by holding the gimbals all the way to the bottom left and powering up the radio transmitter so So every time that menu would pop up so there I had the option to increase the battery voltage and avoid the battery low alarm but even after that I couldn't calibrate the gimbals and the ports so then I inspected the motherboard thoroughly and I tried to see if any component on the motherboard is damaged or burnt but I haven't been able to find anything that's burnt or damaged from the outside so I couldn't figure that out so then I contacted Janik to see if he had any solution for the problem and basically he said that the radio is dead and there's nothing much that we can do and then we had our own conversation about which radio I should buy and all that stuff now I could get the same radio again and use it or I could buy something else or upgrade to something else 
but I haven't decided on that yet and even if I buy this radio again I would definitely avoid using a 2S battery now you must have seen that I have been using 2S to power up my radio and I did not have any problem but few days back this battery was charged all the way up to 8.4 volts and that could have possibly damaged the voltage regulator on the motherboard so even Janik suggested that you should avoid using a 2S battery to power up the Flysky i6X and don't go above 6 volts the power regulator is rated for up to 6.8 volts so going above that is basically inviting trouble and you would always want to avoid that so guys if you're still using a 2S battery to power up the radio transmitter just don't do that anymore and uh, either use a converter or simply use AA batteries for the radio and to power up the external module you can use a battery for that I know myself and a lot many other users have had no problem with a 2S battery but because the power regulator is not rated for a 2S battery it's not a good idea to power up with a 2S battery and you should avoid that at all cost and that was the main part of this video so strictly avoid using a 2S battery to power up the radio transmitter and prevent the radio from burning out or damaging the motherboard or any other component which could cause any other problem so just to be safe once more do not use a 2s battery and that's all i have to share in this video now as to which radio i might buy i'm not 100 percent decided yet i do have the th9x with me uh, as my backup radio for now so i'll be using this to fly my fpv cords but i cannot use express Solaris with that so for that i will definitely have to buy a new radio it could be this or something else even i don't know for sure and if you're interested in seeing what my new radio would be and if you're not subscribed yet you could subscribe and stay tuned for that video so thanks a lot for watching this video and do not use a 2s battery for your fly sky i6x radio transmitter